Hey everyone, welcome back to Spark Plugin. Today I'll be showing you how you can customize your card list and carousels using Spark Plugin. This is perfect for showcasing your content in an interactive and visually stunning way. And of course, as always, no coding needed. So let's jump in and create something that will truly impress your visitors. Now we are on our website of choice and we are using Spark Plugin's website. And what we're going to do is you're going to press on the edit. That's how I got here. So for example, edit. And then since we are doing our carousel styling customization, the first kind of layout I wanted to show you that this customization works on is an auto layout. And I'm just going to scroll down and add a section. And then I'm gonna to go to people. And then I'm going to add this one. And this is called an auto layout. And what we're going to do next is right over here, we have the Spark Plugin Visual Builder on the top right corner. And I'm going to click it and put it over here so you could see. And then you can either go into List and Carousels and then you'll see it right here or click on the block um, or whatever it is that you're customizing. And you're going to then customize from here. So you can press Cards, you can press Inset, or glass morphism. So let's say we were to do cards and then we can also adjust the corners to however we'd like. So we can make them very soft or square. And then we can also change the color of the text from here, as you can see. And then the other thing we can do is change the background. Um, if you do change the background and then you go to another customization like inset you will see that you can't see the picture and that's because it just automatically changed the background color for all listing carousels so you would just remove it but going back to cards as you can see the background is there the other thing you can do is change the image size from inset to fill and then if we were to have more than one line on the title or the description you could also change the amount of lines you would have um, for the title description. The other thing that you could do is add a border and you can also change the color of the border and how wide you want the border. And then you can also add a shadow or not and then change the color of the shadow. So very customizable. I'm going to discard this because I wanna show you with um, inset what we can do. With inset, we can change the corners once again and we can adjust how much overlay we want, the color of the text, the color of the background, which doesn't really make sense unless we didn't have a picture there, and then how many lines, which again, we only have one line um, for the title description, so that doesn't apply, but if there were to be more lines, we could add that. And then the border with the border color and how thick we want the border and the shadow with the shadow color. So again, I'm gonna discard this and we're going to try the last one, which is glass morphism. And we can adjust the corners with this one, the text color, the background color of the glass morphism, but then that kind of defeats the point of the glass morphism. Um, and then the title, again, how, the amount of lines for the description, also a border. We can also add this and we can change the border color and then the shadow and shadow color. So let's say we were to go with this design, which I know is a little bit wild, but let's just say we were to do this, it automatically updates so you don't have to do anything. You could hit publish, um, but it saves it right away and then I'm gonna click out of it. And I wanted to also show you that you can change the design of it. So this is a carousel, but you could make it a simple list. You can make it a banner slideshow as you can see here, or you can, again, just make it a carousel and the design that we applied with Spark Plugin will stay no matter what design you change it to with this customization. The next example that I want to show you is you can customize summary blocks with this customization. So we're gonna go to add block and you can search up summary. That's what I'm going to do. And then move it to wherever you like because Squarespace is easy, you can drag and drop and I'm going to click on the Spark Plugin Visual Builder. And as you can see, we have this customization pop-up and we can do the same thing. We can switch it to cards, inset, glass morphism, and it's exactly the same 
You can customize the corners, the text, um, the background color if you wanted to do that. And then the image size, you could also do fill or inset the amount of lines. And this is actually a cool example to show. And for this one, we have a title that has two lines. So if I were to say I want two or three lines, it would show up or we could do auto. And then the description obviously has a couple lines. So let's say we only wanted one or two or three or four or five or auto. So you get it. And then again, we can do border widths and shadow, shadow colors. And then going into inset, same thing. I'm going to remove that background color because we just edited it. And it's the same exact thing. You can change the opacity, the color of the text, um, the background, which if you have a picture, it doesn't make sense to do because again, it's gonna just vanish. Um, and then the amount of lines you want. This is nice. So you could see if you wanna keep it very clean, you could just do one so that they would click and read more. And then border, we have that. And then the color of the border, we can also do that. The border width and the shadow. Okay, and then we can do glass morphism also. And I'm gonna remove that so you could see it. And we can adjust the color of the text so that way it shows up. And yeah, it's very easy as you can tell. You don't need any kind of CSS. Um, you could just add border, shadows, whatever you'd like to your summary, to your auto layout, summary blocks, carousel, list, all that. Um, so I'm going to press discard just so I could show you something. And I'm going to make this a card. And the same thing as I showed you with the auto layout, with summary blocks, you can click on the pencil and then go to design. And this is a wall, but we can switch it to a carousel, to a list or to a grid and the design will still apply. You don't need to, you know, do it again unless you wanted to change it to a different style. And then our last example is how you can use the carousel styling customization on blog posts. So as you can see, we have a blog page over here with a bunch of blog posts and I'm going to click on the spark plugin visual builder over here, click on the blog posts and right now it's on default. And again, we can make it cards, inset, glass morphism and let's say we were to want to do the glass morphism for this doesn't make sense in my opinion because it's blocking the picture but let's say we were to do cards because i feel like that's the best scenario for this situation um, and we can again adjust the corners same exact thing the color of the text we can select that. The color of the background, if you were to want to do that, I like the white, it's very simple. The image size, so we can make it look a little bit even like that. The lines of the title, again, very good example. It shows how much lines you can have, so your pick. And then the description, if there was a little description in there, we can, you know, do that, but we don't have it in this case. And there's an automatic shadow on these cards right now, but you could do no shadow, the shadow looks really cool in my opinion. And then you could do a border if you wanted to with the color border. So you get the gist. So it's the same exact styling as I showed for the other kinds of layouts. Um, so I'm not gonna go into the cards and inset and glass morphism because you get the point. And the same thing as the other layouts, if you go to edit section and you go to format and you change the layout, you can still use this customization. It still applies. Um, which makes it very easy because it's not like it's just for one kind of layout and that's it. You can literally apply it to any kind of format and layout that you would like. And there you have it, Spark Plugins, Car List, and Carousel Customization. Wasn't that easy? If you want to try out Spark Plugin customizations, visit us at sparkplugin.com and start your 14-day free trial today. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can be notified when new content comes out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.